Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something completely different than anything I usually do on this channel. So here on my channel, I post a new video every single Sunday on budgeting, lifestyle, and motherhood. And yes, I do post my actual personal income, my actual personal budget with real numbers every single month. And I'm also on a journey to lose 65 pounds. And so I post my whole weight loss journey here on YouTube. And I post a new video on that every single Wednesday. So if that seems like something you might be interested in, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. Okay, so like I said, I am doing something completely different than I normally do. As you can tell by the title, I am doing a Shein try on haul. So like I mentioned, I am on a weight loss journey to lose 65 pounds. So with that, I do give myself smaller weight loss goals. And with those goals, I do reward myself. And so my reward to myself for hitting 169 pounds was to buy some summer clothes. So I literally never buy clothes for myself because I'm so insecure with the way my body looks. Um, I haven't bought clothes in years. Literally all of my clothes are like a size small and that definitely does not fit me anymore. I have like a couple of things that I can try to make work, but I really don't have very many clothes that fit me. Sometimes I'll even go out in like my fiance shirts. So I really have like only a couple things that I wear. Generally I'll wear jeans and a sweatshirt whether it's 100 degrees or like 50 degrees i'm wearing a sweatshirt so i really don't have much style anymore back when i was in high school i actually cared about like how i looked and like how i dressed and everything but now that i've gotten to this weight i just kind of stopped caring about it i guess i'm not really sure but this summer i'm challenging myself because i i'm gonna try to push myself out of my comfort zone so i have a massive haul for you guys i'm actually gonna split this video into two parts because it's so big so this first part of the haul is just gonna be dresses um and one romper i believe i got normally i wear black and it's just a sweatshirt i will cover up every part of my body i do not want my stomach showing i do not wear shorts i do not want my legs showing i don't wear dresses because i haven't bought a dress since i was a size small and i don't show my arms and i just literally cover up every inch of my body and i always wear black so we are pushing out of my comfort zone. I know in my videos, you guys see me wear other stuff, but I would literally never wear this out in public, mostly because I, it only shows from like here up and you can't see what it looks like everywhere else. I'm spilling out of it, usually doesn't even fit me. So I bought a ton of stuff and a lot of this stuff is completely out of my comfort zone and I'm really like pushing myself to wear these things. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna feel about them. I haven't seen any of these clothes yet. So they're in a box over here. So I'm going to do a first impressions with you guys. I have never bought in, I have never bought anything from Shein before either. So this is a complete first impressions of Shein and um, of these clothes. So I don't know what to expect. Um, I did buy everything in the curve section um, and I bought everything in a zero X. So just for reference, um, when I normally would buy a shirt, I would gravitate towards an extra large and my the jeans that I have right now are a little bit snug and I bought them from Hollister and they're a size 11. So also for reference, I am 5'5 and as, as I'm filming this video right now, I'm 165 pounds and I will post all of my measurements in the description bar down below. I will also try to post links to these um, if they're still available in the description bar down below as well, if you're interested. Um, I am not sponsored whatsoever. These are all my opinions. I bought these clothes with my own money. Um, I have never bought from this company before but yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there um, but anyway let's go ahead and get started okay so I have about 13 items to show you guys today so these are all dresses except for one one is a romper so let's go ahead and get started so the first one I have let's see okay so this is a black and white dress so the material feels pretty thin and lightweight it doesn't really seem to be see-through okay and it has a really stretchy waistband which i love i like when things are tight right underneath my boobs and then they start flowing out which is what this looks like it's gonna be and it's black and white which is like my favorite thing to wear so and it has nice little sleeves i like this i tend to gravitate i i wanted to go out of my comfort zone but i also wanted to get things that i would still be comfortable in um, that are still cute. So this covers up my chest and my arms, which I like, and it seems like it's going to be tight at my, at the bottom of my chest and then flow out. So I think I'm really going to like this one. It has a little tie as well. So let's go see what this looks like on. Okay. So here's it on. Um, I actually do like this one. I don't know if you could tell, but it goes right above the knee. So this is the perfect length for me. 
Um, I don't like them super short and I don't really like them super long. It's a little bit big in the chest um, it's, and it gets kind of open so I would most likely safety pin or tape that close. The sleeves actually have like this like layered ruffle detail which I don't think I noticed before. Um, and the back is just full back, simple. That's what this looks like on. I like it. Uh, I don't know if I'd wear it too much. I'm not honestly sure how I feel about the sleeves with the double layer of like ruffle. Not really my style, but I'm sure I'll still get some wear out of this. Okay, so next is another dress. So um, like I said, these are all in a zero X unless I tell you otherwise. Um, so this one is, oh, this is a really pretty blue, like a royal blue color with the white. I think it's the same exact dress as the black and white one, to be honest. Um, this also comes with a tie. Um, the material feels really nice. It's like a, I don't even know like how to describe it. It's just a, a nice thin, soft material, but it doesn't seem to be like so thin that it's see-through. So it seems nice. Let's go ahead and try it on. Okay, so here is the first dress. So I actually like this. Um, it actually fits pretty well. The color is not something I would normally wear, but I'm sure I would get some use out of this. Um, I like the fact that it's tight right here and flowy. It really does do a good job hiding my belly. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's a good length. It goes right above my knees. So it is a good length. It's really soft, really comfortable. I don't think it's see-through. Um, here's the back of it. So just pretty basic in the back. Um, it does have the like stretchy kind of sleeves with the little detailing. So I probably will want to like safety pin those clothes or maybe like some fashion tape or something. Um, but I, yeah, I like this dress. It's really comfortable. I think I'll get some wear out of it. So next, I think, is this the one that I was really excited about? Let's see. Oh yeah, I think this one is. So I was really excited about this one. Um, it has the really like, str I don't know what this is called. The really stretchy material here on the chest. Um, I really like that material, especially when you have a bigger bust. Um, and it goes on the arms. Uh, I have kind of big arms, so I hope they fit in this. They seem kind of small in the arms, but it's like an off the shoulder. It's like a, what is this? Is this red? Yeah. Um, floral print. This material, the material, I'm actually shocked. It all feels really like soft and nice. Um, this does seem a little bit short. Like I said, I don't really show my legs very much, so hopefully it's not too short. Um, but it seems really nice. I, I really like it. Um, let's see what it looks like on. So here is it on. So it's really soft, really comfortable. However, this really stretchy material is super tight on my arms. Um, I feel like it's pretty comfortable around the chest. It goes in right where it's supposed to, and then it flows out nice. Um, again, right under or right above the knee, not too short in the back super comfortable. The only complaint I really have about this one is how tight it is on my arms. But yeah, overall, I really do like it. I think it's really cute for the summertime. And I think I will definitely get, I think I will definitely get some wear out of it. Okay. So next, another floral dress. I'm pretty sure these are all floral. Okay. So this feels about the same. It has another tie. Um, oh, there's some paper in there. Okay, so this one looks like it is probably also off the shoulder. Um, this one has like this little frill. Sorry, I am not like a fashion person whatsoever. I don't know any of these terms or what I'm talking about. So I apologize if I sound stupid, but it has this little like frilly part on the sleeve, which is cute. It's a nice touch. Um, I prefer dresses that have sleeves. Um, I think I did get a couple that are like spaghetti straps just to go out of my comfort zone. Maybe I'll wear them like a denim jacket or something. Um, but typically I like to cover up like my armpit fat and my bigger arms. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone. So we'll see if I do wear them without a jacket. Um, but this one is nice. It does seem a little bit big though. We'll see what it looks like on. It looks bigger than the other ones. Um, but it has the same, um, stretchy band underneath your chest, which I really like. I think that style is the most flattering on my personal body type. I struggle with. I have, really, I have a really big belly that I'm insecure about. 
um, and I have big boobs so if it can like accentuate my boobs and then kind of just blend out the rest of it that's what I like so let's see what this looks like on okay so here it is on so super comfortable I love that it cinches in right here and then flows out I think it's pretty flattering here's the back of it it just goes straight across good length right above my knees good stretch right here overall fits pretty well pretty comfortably um i'm not really 100 percent sold on the pattern i think it's really cute it just might be i don't know maybe the flowers are too big for my style i'm not sure i'll still probably end up getting a lot of wear on this one though okay so next looks like another pink florally dress i never wear pink literally ever so i did try to go out of my comfort zone and get some pink stuff um let's see what is this oh okay so this is a spaghetti strap dress is there anything else with it no um this one looks more fitted i don't normally wear things that are fitted um it does have a zipper in the back and it's got a cute little neckline here um it looks like a little daisy pattern and it looks a little bit short and it might be see-through we'll see but it feels really soft and nice but there's absolutely no stretch to this whatsoever um like at all so hopefully this fits and hopefully it's not too tight on my belly because this kind of material or like this style dress looks like it's the kind that's going to accentuate my belly but let's go ahead and see okay so here is that dress on um so I actually like this one a lot more than I thought I was going to I like the color I think it's really like cute and girly um I obviously am wearing my black bra under it um I don't know if I would wear like a strapless bra with this or if I would wear just like a cardigan or like a denim jacket over it I think that would be really cute with it as well it is a little bit on the fit more fitted side than I prefer um you can see my belly hanging out a little bit but um if I stuck it in it's not as bad so I don't know I just that's something I'm just gonna have to be aware of in this dress um here's the back so it does have a zipper in the back um, it's just kind of a basic back. It does feel like a little bit shorter in the back than I would prefer, um, but that's okay. It's about to like my fingertips. It's really soft. It doesn't look see-through at all. Um, it has that band underneath the breast to make it a little bit more like flattery and form-fitting, um, but it's not stretchy. There's no stretch at all, so keep that in mind I did get this in a 0x and I think it fits my body perfectly but yeah I don't think I would wear this one alone just you definitely can I just for my personal preference I would probably wear this with like a black cardigan or like a denim jacket but this is what it looks like on okay so next is what do you know another floral dress oh my gosh I got so much floral it's ridiculous um okay so another tie and um, this one is like a navy blue Okay, so this looks like the same dress as I got before with like the deeper neckline. Um, I don't know if the other one had a zipper on the back. I don't remember, but um, this one has a zipper in the back. And oh no, this one is completely different because I don't remember these sleeves. These are like loose flowy sleeves. And yeah, so it's just like a blue with the pink um, flowers. And this, ha oh, this has um, like ruffles on the bottom of it. I didn't know that when I bought it. But yeah, this doesn't look like it's gonna be see-through at all. It's really nice material, but there isn't any stretch to this either. Um, and then it does have a tie. So let's go see what this looks like. Okay, so here is it on. Um, I do like this one actually a lot. Um, it's that pretty blue with the floral and it has like the layering of ruffles, which is not usually my style. Um, I tend to not wear stuff like that, but I think this one's cute. Um, it uh, has a high-low, I can't really tell. I don't think so I think it's pretty much all one length um again right at the knee so it's the perfect length for me um sleeves are nice and flowy it's pretty soft um silky kind of material all the okay so zero x seems to fit me perfectly so I'm super happy because I was really nervous about this um however what the heck is with their dresses they have so much cleavage on their dresses it's insane um, again, I'm gonna have to pin this, um, or wear something under it, because that's just, like, way too much boob. Way too much. Um, but I do overall think it's cute. Here's the back. It goes 
the zipper goes from here all the way up but yeah that's this dress on okay so next what do we have another floral print dress oh my gosh okay so this one feels like a stiffer material it's still like nice but it's like stiffer if that makes any kind of sense where is the front oh okay so how does this work oh okay cool so it's like a spaghetti strap dress that has like this little let's see so it has like the boobs <laughs> I'm so bad at describing stuff, I'm so sorry. Um, with this little like keyhole cutout right there, which is cute. And then it has an open back with a tie. So um, I will most likely personally be wearing this with a jacket over it because I do not like my back showing. I'm so insecure about my back rolls. I will not wear an open back anything. Um, I can't remember if I knew this had an open back or not. Um, I, pro I think I did and I just decided I would probably wear this with a jacket. Um, but no, it's nice. I like it. It's really cute. Um, I think with a jacket it would probably still be really cute. The material is really... S There's no stretch to this material either. Um, yeah, not in the, in the bust area either. But it looks really cute. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like on. Okay, so here is it on. Um, it's... Sorry I keep looking over here, um, my mirror is right there. It's really comfortable, it's really lightweight and flowy. Um, it has that little cutout right here and you can see my bra. Um, I don't know what kind of bra I would wear with this one to be honest. I'm not one to like not wear a bra, like ever. Um, or like sticky boobs, I am breastfeeding so this is a nursing bra. That's my my style um but it has like a v neckline with the spaghetti straps and then this is with the open in the back um honestly this is stretchy you can see my, you can see my back rolls really bad in this and also my bra um like i said i will most likely not be wearing this with out like a jacket or a cardigan over it um i'm not about the open back like that at all so but yeah, for the most part, I really do like this one. Okay, so next, ooh. Okay, so something that's not floral print. Let's see what we got. So this is a, it doesn't say, it. I think it's like a cheetah print. I love cheetah print, but I never have the guts to wear cheetah print. Okay, so it comes with a another little tie. And this material feels, a lot different it's not as soft as the other ones and it looks like it's probably a little bit see-through um yeah i think this one is going to be see-through and it has like a pretty deep neckline we'll see this one honestly looks really big um it's got pretty big sleeves too hopefully when i tie it at the waist it's not going to look that big but we'll go ahead and try it on and see Okay, so I actually like this one a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, you definitely need the tie, let me show you. Um, yeah, without the tie, it's super shapeless and just like really loose and flowy. The tie really like centers you in and gives you some shape. Yeah, I actually really like this one. Um, it is, I don't know what it is with these sh uh, tops that just show so much cleavage. They're so open in the front. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do something about this one as well. Um, but yeah, no, I like the sleeves. It gives me like the perfect amount of like arm coverage that I like. Not too short. It's longer in the back, shorter in the front. Again, stops right at my knees, but then goes a little bit lower. Um, yeah, no, I like this one a lot. It's a real, like a rayon feeling kind of material. I'm not sure exactly what kind of material this is. Um, but that's what it feels like. Just, again, the boobs. So, yeah, I like this one. Okay, so next, I got this pink dress with more flowers. Um, oh, this one's really soft. And it's got another one of those necklines where it kind of, like, crosses in the front. Um, flowy sleeves. 
seems like it's a good length. What about this? Is this yeah, it's stretchy at the after the chest, um, which I like. It's very thin. Um, I also think this is probably gonna be see-through, but let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is that dress on. Um, I definitely think this one is see-through. You can completely see my black bra. Um, and yeah, you can probably see my my underwear as well, um, but it, it goes right above the knee as well. It's nice and flowy. It's that pretty pink. Um, I like the sleeves. Um, I'm not really sure what I would do about how see-through it is, though. I could put something underneath it, maybe. And <laughs> this shows way too much boob for my liking. And honestly, it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot I can do about it. I might have to, like, safety pin it, like, way up here. But yeah so that's what this one looks like on okay so next this is a oh is this red it kind of looked pink in the bag but it looks red um so it's another dress that looks like it's probably off the shoulder is this the back okay so this is the back with the zipper what is this in the front is this a tie in the front so it looks like it has a little i thought this was the back because of the tie but it has this little tie in the front. I'm not sure how I'm gonna style that, but let's see. Um, it looks like it just goes straight, or is that? I'm not sure. It looks like it kind of just goes straight down. Um, uh, it's really soft. I don't think this one's gonna be see-through. And it's got stretchies on the arms. And I don't see anything under the chest to like make it have some shape. And it didn't come with a tie or anything. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. So I really like this one too. So I'm actually pretty impressed with Shein. Um, this one does have quite a bit of cleavage as well, but I think it's doable. Um, it is pretty snug on my arms here. Um, I'll have like the dimensions for my arms as well down below if you're interested. I've seen a lot of these hauls and no one mentions how big their arms are. I think it could be pretty helpful for someone. Um, but... Yeah, so that little tie, I just put it in a knot. You could probably do a bow. Um, I think this is, if I remember properly, this is what the girl on the um, the model had. But I think it's actually pretty flattering for my body. Um, obviously, you can still see my belly. There is, like, no stretch to this whatsoever, but it fits pretty good. Um, however, I noticed with the ones that don't have a lot of stretch, they seem to feel shorter in the back. I don't know if that's just like my body type. I don't know, but um, yeah, I like this one. Um, you could wear it more off the shoulder if you wanted to um, or wear it like on the shoulder, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think this one's really cute. I like this one. I think I'll definitely be wearing this one as well. Next we have a black. Oh, this one feels a lot rougher. It's not terrible, but it's like a more rough material. It's a black dress with flowers honestly I don't really like it looking at it right now um it looks like there's absolutely like no shape to this whatsoever did it come didn't come with a tie there's nothing around the chest to like an accentuate and flow out to give me some shape it looks like it's gonna be see-through honestly I don't like this one uh it's got pretty big sleeves but I'm gonna give it a chance and let's see what it looks like on Okay, so here is it on, uh, yeah, it gives me absolutely, like, no shape whatsoever. Um, it is really loose and flowy, um, the material is super rough and honestly not the most comfortable to wear. Uh, I feel like with just like a tie, if you could tie it right here, or, like cinch it in and then let it flow, it would be cute. So maybe I can steal a tie from one of the other dresses and see if I can make it work that way. But... Um, it has a super low, like, I don't know, is that a, I guess that's not like considered a plunge. I guess that's just like a deep v-neck, a little bit too much boo for my liking. Um, I don't know if I'd wear something under or if I could like pin it, but yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think I would wear this one like alone. Here's the back. It's a good length, just like all the other ones. It goes right above my knee, but yeah, there's just absolutely like no shape to it whatsoever. 
So I think the only way I would wear this one is if I did put a tie on it. Okay, so last dress that I have is this white dress. I had to get a white one. Ooh, this is so soft. I love this material. It's like, oh, it's so stretchy. Okay, it's a little heavy, but I like how soft and stretchy it is. It's a little spaghetti strap one with these red and blue floral print. It seems honestly like thick, like it's not gonna be see-through. I like that. Oh, it has, oh, it has a slip underneath it. So it will not be see-through. Oh, I like it. And it has the stretchy, is it stretchy on the waist? Yeah, it's got the stretchy waist. Okay, I think I'm gonna like this one. Let's go ahead and try it on. Okay, so here is that last dress on. So I absolutely love this. I think this is like the perfect like summer dress. Um, it doesn't go too far down. It has good coverage. Um, yes, you can see my bra. Um, I would probably wear like a nude color bra under this, but it has that slip underneath. So it's not see-through, which is amazing. It goes right to my knees, nice and flowy. Has the little band here with some stretch. So it has a nice flow. I would most likely wear this with like a denim jacket. And I think that would be a super cute summer look. Okay, so last thing in this haul, I have this romper. So I think rompers are so cute, but I think you have to have like a specific body type to be able to pull them off. Um, I watched a lot of these try on hauls and the girls always had the same problem with these rompers. Personally, I always thought the problem with the rompers was it will show your belly, like it's just unflattering on your belly. Um, that's why I've never gravitated towards them. I just won't even touch them because I don't want my belly to show like that. But all these girls always say like when they lift their arms, um, it kind of like rides up. My body's like weirdly proportioned. I have pretty long legs and a short torso. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna have that issue, but I saw this and it was so cute. I had to like, I had to get it even if it was a romper. Let's go ahead and see. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love this. Oh, it looks like it might be see-through, but it's really stretchy on the shoulders. Oh, it's got flowy sleeves stretchy at the waist and then um you know like the loose legs for the shorts uh is there a tie or anything in the front yeah so oh cute so at the waist it has this little tie oh i think that's so cute so i really want to love this i think this is so cute i'm so excited to try this i'm worried it's gonna be see-through and i'm worried that it's gonna look terrible on me because it's a romper and I'm worried that I'm gonna probably have the same problem the other girls had and it just like rides up when you move. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, so here is the romper on. So I don't know. I think the romper itself is super cute. I love it. Um, however, it's extremely see-through. Like you can completely see my underwear and my bra. Um, the material is really rough feeling. It's not the most comfortable to wear. Just, I feel like it really, like, rompers, like, accentuate your, like, your fupa. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know how flattering it is on my body. And everyone says when you lift your arms, it rides up, and it absolutely does do that. So, I honestly don't know if I will be wearing this one at all. It's super cute, but I just don't think it really works well with my body. So I'm probably going to have to give this one a pass, unfortunately. All right. Well, that is everything I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss when I post a new video. And I will be posting part two next Sunday. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.